How does a Murphy lab compare to an original 1955 Gibson Les Paul? Let's find out. Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here. For over a century, Gibson have been making a diverse line of many different types of guitars for many different types of players. With all the experience they learned over those years, they've come up with their latest creation, the Murphy Lab. We're going to explore the Murphy Lab a little bit, talk about a few of the models we currently have in stock, and see if the Murphy Lab's right for you. Let's see where it all began. Tom Murphy is a master luthier who helped pioneer the Gibson Custom Shop in the early 90s and worked extensively on their Les Paul Historic series as well. He's worked with many different artists, including Jimmy Page, the Allman Brothers, and that brings us on nicely to the Murphy Lab. So what does the Murphy Lab include? What they've done is they've taken the original Les Pauls from the 50s and re-engineered the Nitro, which apparently ages a lot better. They've got four different types of aging processes. They've gone from ultra light to ultra heavy. They've got an extensive range of core models, including the Les Paul Juniors, Les Paul Standards, Les Paul Customs. They've got SGs in there, 335s, 355s, Firebirds, and I've even seen a Trini Lopez in the lineup. They're also offering the Made to Measure program, so you can even spec up your own Murphy Lab. <laughs> So let's take a look at a few of the guitars we have in stock right now. The one I've been holding for the video, this one here, is a Sunrise T-Burst finish. It's the ultralight age, so you get a little bit of lacquer checking with it, a little bit of patina to the hardware, and you get a neck which is pretty much unscathed other than some lacquer checking. We also have another ultralight aged in the factory burst. This one has a really nice top on it. Again, kind of Light lacquer checking, light patina to the hardware. It's a really nice looking guitar, I do like that one. SG-wise, we have two in stock, again ultralight aged, both with maestros. What I like about the Pelham Blue finish, with the lacquer checking, it really shows off in different lights because the lacquer checking lines look a different colour. We have one of these in cherry as well, so exactly the same guitar, just in the cherry finish. It's a really nice looking guitar. I think you don't see as much of the lacquer checking lines on these ones just because of the colour, but they are still there. Okay, so you will have noticed that during this video my outfit has changed. And also the guitar I'm holding. What's happened is that since we recorded the Murphy Lab video, we had a couple more in. One of them is this. This is an ultra heavy aged 59 Lemon Burst Les Paul. <laughs> get with the ultra heavy aging is not a lot more on the hardware it looks fairly close to what the ultra light age looked like but the lacquer is really distressed you've got more lacquer checking 
You've got sections like this here where the arm wear has just worn away the top of it. You've got loads of little dents and things like that that look like they've gone dirty over time. The Holly headstock veneer has got loads of little chips and things so you can see the Holly underneath. On the back of the guitar, you've got loads of belt buckle rash, things like that, more lacquer checking, more dents. The wood's all dirty on there as well. And the same story again on the neck. You can see here that the neck's been worn through. It feels very worn in as well, so it, they really simulate that kind of 60 years of playing the guitar. Here we have a very special guitar indeed. This is a recreation of Johnny Winter's 1964 Firebird in Polaris White Aged. This has gone through the Murphy Lab, so it has all the treatment you'd expect to make it look just like his original one. <laughs> The little details on this are really important. So you've got the missing reflector hat switch there. You've got the holes where the maestro would have been removed and then plugged. They've changed the switch out on here, just like Johnny's. The Firebird logo it has been worn through there, as has the one on the front of the headstock on the truss rod cover. They've gone to so much detail on this guitar. It's amazing to see how well they've done with it. You've got all the things that you would expect from kind of a Murphy heavy aged finish, maybe not quite the, the ultra heavy aged. Banjo tuners on the back of the headstock. On the side of the neck, or in fact both sides of the neck, you can see this is one of the details that I think makes these Murphy labs really accurate. And that is very typical on some of the early 60s Gibsons, is you see that between the lacquer on the neck and the binding, there's areas where it's just worn through or just been chipped off, so they've really nailed it with this one. Being number 58 of the run, I think is really important because they do say that once they've built 57 of these, the 58th will be the perfect one. Here we have a VOS Custom Shop Les Paul. I wanted to show this one off so you can see exactly how far you get with the regular Custom Shop from Gibson. This is designed to recreate a guitar that was bought from factory and then kept in the case, maybe occasionally played. So you've got some slight cloudiness to the finish and some patina to the gold hardware. And now we're going to compare it to the Murphy Lab. Oh, that was quick. What we've got here is a guitar that has the vintage look. They've taken it one step further than the VOS. So you have to think of this as the ultralight aged, as a guitar that was bought from you and it's been through maybe a few different temperature changes quickly, the lacquer's checked. You've got a little bit more aging to the hardware than the VOS. What I really like about this though is the feel. So they hand roll the fingerboard edges and they just take it a step further than the custom shop and I think they really nail the vintage feel. I thought it'd be interesting to not only compare the Murphy Labs to Gibson Custom Shop, but also to some original vintage guitars. Fortunately, we have this in. This is a Cherry Red 64 SG Junior. To compare it, we have one of the 64 Murphy Labs. The thing that I noticed straight away was the neck profiles. They're very close. Um, the original is a little bit slimmer, but not by much. The other thing I think they've got spot on with these is the lacquer checking. They're very close in terms of just how much there is and how kind of deep the lacquer checking goes and how dirty it gets. In terms of getting that vintage look and feel, you can't really go wrong with one of the Murphy Labs. So for our next vintage comparison, we have here a 1955 Les Paul Junior. Initially, when I picked this guitar up after holding the Murphy Lab for some time, I noticed that the neck profiles are almost exactly the same. As an older guitar, it's been used a lot, so it's probably where you'd put maybe like an ultra heavy aged Murphy Lab up against it. What I also really like with this is when you get an old guitar and you get a dent in it, when the dent's new, it's very shiny, the wood underneath's very kind of white or light colored. And when they get older, they get dark. And the Murphy Lab has picked up on this and included it in some of their aging. What I think we've learned from this video is that Gibson and the Murphy Lab absolutely do a very accurate recreation of a vintage guitar. The custom shop Gibsons are great. They, you know, I own one, I've owned one for years, and I think it's, it's an excellent guitar. I think what this gives you is something that feels even more vintage than the regular custom shop models. The first thing I would think of if I was looking to buy a vintage guitar is who would I buy one from? Would you buy one from a dealer or would you buy one from a collector or someone that's just owned it for a long time? 
and you know, can you trust the person you're buying it off to you know, authenticate that the guitar is completely original or not so original? I think you know, after you, answer, you, know, you ask all these important questions with it and you come up with the answers, you know, will I need to service my vintage guitar every year? Will I need to spend a lot of money on it to get it playable and to keep it playable? Will I need to spend a lot of money you know, authenticating that it's an original guitar? What you get from the Murphy Lab is something that's directly straight out the factory it's been built like a vintage guitar. It's the closest they've ever got to recreating that feel. And you know it's going to work every day of the week. All the gear used in today's video will be linked in the description below, so please check them out there to find out more. We really enjoyed making this video, and we hope you did too. If you want to check out more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hi, I'm Sam from Guitar Village. For over a decade... <laughs> say, ah. For over a century. It's my nose, it keeps putting me off. And my brain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>